Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back again to a new episode of Carl is on it. So today, I've got with me this little package here. And what is inside this package is essentially some interior lights. Now these are LED interior lights which would basically change the colour from the halogen. We're basically replacing halogen bulbs with these LED ones. And the reason I want to do that is essentially to make the car much more modern, bring some years back into the car and it'll just make the interior look amazing. So let's get straight to the install. Well, first of all, I'm going to start by opening the car. Now, if you look under here, this is all, we've already got LED lights here, so this is absolutely fine. This is what we call puddle lights. They come out really nice and bright and dark. But as we go into the interior, what I'm going to do is put the key in the ignition and I'll show you all the lights that I'm going to need to replace. Okay, so we have one here, so we've got the central light and also the reading lights as well. So we've got one there, one there as well. We've also got passenger light too. We've got the driver's side light as well. And we've got the footwell, driver's side footwell, and also glove compartment and passenger side footwell too. Now, in order to do these lights here, I've got myself some prime tools. So I'm gonna use one of these to pretty much get into like the gaps of here and basically pry it out. Once I pry it out, I'll be able to get access to these lights in there. So I'll leave a link in the description where to get yourself some prime tools as well. Um, if you have a BMW that you wanna replace them. So this works for the um, body types for the E88, the E82 and also the E87 as well because they all have a similar sort of structure really with where they place lighting but yeah so I'm gonna replace these lights starting from the footwell let's go Right guys, so I've got myself, one of these are essentially a direct bolt-on. Um, so I used some tissue paper to remove it so I didn't sort of um, affect the bulb or anything like that. And essentially just plugged it into that. And also, to turn on all the lights, just use this central button here and that will turn on the lights. Now look at that now, look how nice that looks. Absolutely amazing super bright lights any any type you like drop something underneath like in the, on the carpet or something you can easily see it now because of just how clear and bright they are so i'm going to do that for the other sides as well and it's going to be absolutely amazing so i'm going to put this back inside here until it's um until it's holder and let's keep going Right, we're on to the next one now. Let's go. Right, so I've taken this one out. This one's a different one than the other one, so I think this one, we just gotta wiggle it a bit. So I'm just gonna try and wiggle it a little bit. Let's see. Here we go. Wiggle it out. Right, and the one to replace it is going to be one of these guys here, or not this one. I think the same thing, we'll try the same thing again, see how that works. I think it slots in like that. There we go, slots in just like that. Just like that, and we're gonna just pop it in back in. The 
let's pop this back in here. This one's a hard one to take out, but it's all right. There we go, so that one's done as well. Right, we're now on to the central dome lights, which is these three here. And essentially, in order to remove them, there's actually a seam in between here. So if you see where my hand is, I've got my flashlight so you can sort of see it. So there's a seam there. And what you're going to need to do is pry it in between these corners here. And then this thing will pop out. And then there'll be two latches on the side, on this side here where the passenger airbag is. And you just basically push them so then it can come out. So I'm going to try and do it with one hand and show you guys what I'm talking about. Right, so the tool that I'm going to use is this one here. Now this one has got a nice curve to it, that way it can get in between here. So, let's get started. So I'm going to pop it in between here. There we go. Now, if you can see on this side, it's all popped out. There we go. So that pops like that. Right, so now that I've popped out this bit here, you can now see those metal sort of hinges, so that, that metal thing there. There's another one at the other side as well, so what I'm going to do is try and pull this down. I'm going to use the prying tool, so let me just get the prying tool to pull it down. There we go. Now, it allows me now to pull this bit out. So there's two hinges here. I'll try and show you. Yeah, so there's two plastic clips and they're latching on to the corner of it. So what you need to do is push this in with your two fingers. There we go, one out, there we go. And then it just pops out like that. So, there we have it. So next what I'm gonna do is remove this bit here. You literally just pull that, and pull the tabs from there, and then it'll, the whole dome um, piece will come out. So I'm gonna do that now. On one side. I'm gonna set the camera down so I don't drop it. There we have it. So, now what we're gonna do now is remove, twist these like that, clockwise, anti-clockwise, either way, and that would come out like that. So you got a little light bulb from there, set that aside, do that for all three of them. Now these little bulbs are very simple to take out. I'm not gonna use my hands because I'm no longer gonna use these bulbs. So you virtually just wiggle it out. There we go. Set that aside. And I'm gonna replace it with these LEDs here. Just these little LEDs here. So this one would virtually, it's like a direct bolt one, so you just virtually just plug it into that. Okay, so put it into, let's try it in the center one. Center one, push it down, twist it clockwise. There we go. And now I'm going to try and see if it works. Right, I'm going to plug it back on. There we go. There we have it. So that works. Time to do the other two, and then that should be it from there. Here we go. Right, time to test all these. Right, time to plug them back on. There we go, all working. So that's these dome lights done. Just gonna plug this wire back into there and then fit it back on and that's it, job done. Now, in order to push it back in, let me just turn these lights off now. 
So to push it back in, you virtually just push it from that side, and then there we go. It just snaps into place like that. Job done. Right, guys, we're on to these lights here. So what I'm going to do is get one of the um, prying tools, pull it out. It's very simple. This one is. So firstly, I'm just going to unhook one of these clips here. That will allow me to have more space to work here. So I'm just going to pretty much pry into there. So I've taken it out now, and essentially you have to have this little wire here. So you just detach that. I'm going to try and take it off. With one hand. I'm just going to take it off now. So that's now been detached. So now you have two bulbs here, one on this side, one on the other side. Now I'm going to basically take one out and put in one of the LEDs in there. So what I've done is I've taken out the metal case from this bit here by prying out these clips here. So there's little clips here, one there and one on the other side as well. And that will detach it from this thing here. So now it gives me better access to actually take the bulb out now, these two bulbs. So I'm going to just pretty much pry them out. I'm not going to use these bulbs again, so I'll just take them out. Give one out. Just very, very lightly so I don't damage any of the connectors. Right, so I've moved all the baby bulbs out. And now what I'm going to do is I've got these LEDs in here. I'm now going to place them inside these areas here. So I'm just going to place them in here. Really simple, just direct plug in that. Now if one side doesn't work, you basically just flip it over. You just flip the bulb to the other side and that should make it work. So I'm going to place that back in. Well, let's firstly connect this wire in just to see if that actually works. Okay, slide the mirror. Nope, so let me slide that back now. So what I'm gonna do is flip it round and that should make it work. Okay, slide the mirror. There we go, so that does it. I'm gonna do that for the other side now. Right, so I plug the other one back on. I'm gonna plug it back into here. Okay, plug that back in now. Test it. Boom, they both work, perfect. Now I'm gonna put the cover back on so this metallic cover here place that back onto there and that should be a job done and then onto the other one so that's working now so i'm just going to pop that back in here really simple like that that's it job done on to the next one So that's done. Let's plug it back in here. Okay, test it. And it works. Let's plug that back in now. Turn to touch this back on. There we go. It looks like it's job done. So the next one we're gonna do is the glove box. This one is at such a weird angle, but just basically have to get this corner here. Let me use a prime tool, it'll be much easier. There we go. I've got you now. There we go. So, take this one out. Now that I've got the, um, the bulb holder out, we can take, we can replace it with one of these guys here. So let's go. We can replace it with this red one here.
that's in place now. Time to test and see if it works. There we go. Look how bright that is. Looks, looks absolutely incredibly bright. Right, let's pop that back in. That's it. Right, that's done now. I guess you can say you can shine bright like a pack of fresh mints. Hey, that was dead. Right, onto the final bit. Got those bright plate lights. Then we got this paladin bulb that we're replacing. So, this is the last one now. We've got a couple of these left. And we're we'll just go straight into it. Literally just take it out like that. So with this aluminium case in here, it virtually just slides out like this. You just virtually push it. That's it. Because it's got, if you look into this now, it shows you two sort of arrows. You can see those two arrows. You see the two arrows, there's two arrows there. And it just tells you just to slide it. Yeah, so just done that. So let's come out. And now we've got the bulb here. There we go. So we take that one out and then swap it for one of the big ones. Right, let's go. Right, I'll just push this side out. There we go. Pry that out. Now to get this guy. And then slot it in place. Virtually, these are. Let me just get the lights on this. So essentially, these yellow things here are the LED lights. So it needs to face this way. They're quite temperamental. So what you need to do, if it doesn't, sh if you're not, if it's not facing the right direction, they won't work. So all you need to do is just flip them around, and it will work. So let's do this. Here we go. Here we have it. It's pulled done. Time to fit back the sliding plate here and back inside the boot. That's it, all done. Right, guys, that's everything all finished. So we've got lights here, lights there, there, glove box as well. Light there, light in the footwell, nice footwell light the driver's side footwell too. Also, right, so that is pretty much all the lights, guys. So that is now the end of the video. I just want to get, say again a big thank you to all the new subscribers and the ones that were with me from day one. Guys, thank you so much. We're almost halfway there to 1k so thank you guys so much and also subscribe guys thank you again and i'll catch you again soon peace